I'm not like no 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 no. I'm saying it's one part of money. I'm saying it's one pot of money, but he got the majority of the pot in there and it's taking care of most of the bills. But I she feels like that. it's 50 because we have one bank account. That's my point. Yeah, that's and that's point. shit, idiot. I don't, I don't, I don't think, I don't, I, no, 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 Here's the thing, here's the thing, and I know, and because I, like, so let's say I bring a hundred thousand. They probably got, she probably got an account, they got a house account, he got an account. Trust me on that, and then they got a business account. Yeah. Or business account. And I guarantee you, the main house account, he got the majority of the money in there paying for the bills. Yeah, um, they probably put a percentage because, like, especially if he he making more than her. So if they put in twenty percent or whatever, he, got, he, he got, probably he got twenty percent. She got put like more. ten or fifty. Huh? He got all his kids, so he got to pay more because I got to pay. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's why I ain't going down for fifty fifty. I'm like, yeah, I love your kids. Yeah, we got our kids together, but I'm like, them niggas was grown when I got here, pretty much. Okay, no, maybe they was grown. But, but you know but, what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> well, you some of PR earlier. Someone with a great PR move. I think one of the best PR moves. And I'm going to talk about the better PR move he could have made. Jonathan Majors now dating Megan Good allegedly. Now, this is one of the best moves I have seen since Scandal. Now, I'm going I'm going to go off here on this one. I'm going to take the lead on this one here. I think if I was his PR person, I would have had him get it Octavia Spencer. And really shut down the game and really show my blackness. I, I would have told him in the meeting, I'd be like, all right, man, how bad do you want to get back in? Like, how bad do you want to do this? Bro. I got Megan good. That's going to be a good look, too. But if you really want to do this, you're going to have to take a year and a half with Octavia, uh, Octavia Spencer and do what you got to do. That'll really get you back in with black people, black women, and women in general if you date her. That would have been my real PR movie. We're going to do this PR dating move stuff. It worked for Michael B. Jordan. It got him off the books for the white woman for a minute. Got us up off him thinking white women already think he's gay. We can do the same thing for you, Jonathan, but you're going to have to do a little something extra. Octavia Butler, you're going to have to get with her. Octavia Spencer or Octavia Spencer. Butler? Octavia Spencer, I'm sorry. But Taylor Butler's dead. That's the writer. I'm sorry. That wrote Kim Yeah, Kim. I was like, I don't. Yeah. Sorry, Octavia Spencer. Sorry uh, to the to the great writer. Uh, okay, but I'm just saying this is a great PR move. I'm amazed how good this that person PR person. I need to find out what company he worked worked with. My the way my my brain works, I, I wasn't gonna go left like that. Uh, <laughs> you didn't think it was gonna go there. Right? You didn't think it was gonna go there. I, right? I, I didn't know what the fuck you were gonna say, but it wasn't that. But I'm gonna say this here. Like I'm gonna go out on a limb, and every place that I have. Seeing this headline, I have had the same comment, and people really are messing with me on it, right? I think Megan Good is the other woman. I think Megan Good is who he was texting when everything went down. You got this newfound fame. You are explosive. She is divorced from Devon Franklin. No one has said, if this wasn't true... If this was not true, I don't. I think Megan Good would have said something along the lines like, "You know, I that's a good friend of mine" or something. She wouldn't leave him like hanging out to dry or whatever. Like, where she would play him, but she was just like, "That's my boy." No, like, but no. Hear me out. Like when the rapper be like, "Yo, I'm look, some, what, I forgot what rapper was it." They was trying to say was messing with Megan Good. She came directly. I was like, "Oh hell no." Yeah, exactly. So I believe that there is some truth behind this story. And though this uh, person that this source is saying that it's fairly new, I don't think it's fairly new. I think the source is late to the party. And I think that Megan Good and uh, Jonathan Majors have been talking for a minute. Okay, but but they they could have just been talking though. Like, all right, I've been working. It on doesn't stuff. matter. I, that's who he was. Ta- that's who he was texting. Because if they're now dating or whatever, there was some lead up to it. Wasn't like I met you, I want you. Though that's right, 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 right. So, Ma- so, do you think that Megan knew about the other woman, or it was like he was on some like I got to get up off the books with this other chick? I'm fin- I got a chance at Megan Good. I'm on. He it. probably. She probably. He probably was already 
ready to exit stage left because now he on people. See, that's what we talk. We go back to fame. So like now it gives you a level of visibility that you didn't have before. And so now is this what we want a black man to do? Lead a white woman for a black woman? Isn't that what we want? Like this is the opposite way. Most uh, that's time what I'm saying. Way. But okay, so yeah, we saw we had Russell Wilson do that, right? But it didn't come with abuse allegations. That's true. That's true. Oh, so God. with that being said, I'm just saying hypothetically, what if what if just go with me, y'all? I believe that this could be true. I think that that could potentially be the thing. And he was that's who he was texting because remember, he was supposed to be, you know, engaging with other women. <clears throat> I'm just saying, I don't think I don't think it's as fresh as people are making it out to be. And uh, because for it to come out like they go together, like they are dating, they've been they've been talking. And she probably been kind of taking this, you know, trying to be off the grid with it anyway, knowing that he could have been potentially in a relationship, even if he was a trying to leave. Um, but also, you know, like it, it's like how Stella got her groove back. She off the heels of a marriage. She's been divorced for what, like a year now. Yeah. She ready to get out in these streets and really have a good time. Oh, I just thought about it. She was living in New York for a minute because she was shooting Harlem. And that's where he yep. lives at. Yep. And that's, a, man, people don't understand, if you've never been to New York, it's so easy to dip, dodge, and slide in New York. Uh, the only dumb, dumbass celebrity that gets caught up in New York is Tristan Thompson. I don't know how you get caught up at the Soho Club, a private bar, and you get caught on pictures, and you can't even take pictures. And I didn't even know. They're like, how do you? Like, that's how dumb you are. Yeah, somebody, somebody whipped their phone out and was against the, the policy. Yeah, yeah but I'm happened. saying, Tristan, why are you always the one getting, keep getting caught up? Like... Well, it ain't like, you know, a, a Tristan, I mean, you have to also remember where as somebody could probably be a little more incognito because they could be like, you know, like average height, six feet or below. He can fall under, he can't fall under that radar like that. So, I mean, unless he, Dang, you yeah. know, had like a mask and a hat and some sunglasses, you know, his eyes, like he has a distinguished look. A lot of dudes in the league have distinguished looks. So you think it'd be easier for Jonathan Majors to dip and slide around New York than uh, even, if, even though he's in all these uh, Marvel movies and, and stuff? Or, or I mean, they could have went to a few restaurants. They could have been hanging out at each other's house. You know, like, because it's... it's I, don't, I, I don't know. Like I said, like, I know we have a lot of spots out here where you can't you know, like have your phone out or be taking pictures like that. So I could only imagine New York has to be just like that, if not worse. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, but for it to be stable probably, you know, what what, what John Legend was, say? Oh, you know what? I was listening to this interview, uh, shout out to Higher Learning with uh, Van Lathan and, Lathan and um, I forgot the other, uh, the, uh, Lindsay. Rachel. Rachel Lindsay. Rachel, sorry. So yeah. Rachel Lindsay is her name. Yeah, Rachel Lindsay. And yeah. he was on her talking about that he found out about these underground bathhouses that like that nobody knows about. They're private, that you can go get massages, get a bath, everything. He's like, nobody knows about it. It's like some lower parts of uh, of Soho and, uh, you know, the village and stuff. So now you're making me think, because he was like, yeah, people don't even know about it. Want, like he said somebody, an uh, agent or somebody took him there and like was like, yeah, you can just do this. It's this little private little joint. You just got nobody even know you even heard you come in, come out. I was like, now it makes me think, Dom. Yeah, it's it's a lot of places. It's probably a lot of places where if you not of a certain caliber that you probably won't even have access to or know that it's there. Like I went to a cigar lounge in, in Beverly Hills uh, and you have to have like a membership to go. And mm -hmm. it was like a, a, a nice size table of us. Like this, the person um, took... You know, like, there's a couple of producers or whatever, and I met up, like, they, uh, my homegirls was with them, so. It's, like, in the cut behind, like, a restaurant that I used to go to that I would frequent when I worked in Beverly Hills and never paid attention to this random door. And, <laughs> it, 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 like, at all. And so you had to be let up. Like, it wasn't like you could walk in. It was like so a whole, they had a key fob. They had to let you up. It was like a whole thing. So I could, I could only imagine that. Or it could be like, 
you know, like John Legend said, still in moments just to be with you and they are in another town over, you know, and yeah, she don't have to know. Such an amazing song, guys, by the way. Such an amazing song. Yeah, I mean, also, um, the great Dino Jones with this song, uh, she gives me all her time and half me uh, uh, half her time and all her love <laughs> from that uh, uh, Where I Want to Be album, which is a great Cheaters album. Oh my gosh. Like, um, I just, it's just really, I mean, people people be creeping in and out like all the time, you know? Um, you, you seen this really could be a thing if they was already kicking. I feel like that's probably already kicking it. Dang. I think like this... in the text, don't forget in the text messages too, that did not really exonerate him of anything except for the strangulation. <laughs> One of those things was like, did you leave your key? Like, did you leave the key? Like, get like it was like that's what he said to her. Whatever she said, he was like, I don't give a fuck what you're saying. Did you leave your key? Mm. So he was already ready to transition. Like <clears throat> Cause that was a real quick transition from y'all to be kicking and hanging out to where your key at. <laughs> yeah. That means that you was already ready for the dismount. Yeah, or he probably thought that, you know, like maybe I'm getting to know this person. I don't know if I'm sure about this or not or whatever. This is also new. Cause you know, like sometimes people overlap. Like I'm pretty confident, like, you know, like, I most I people overlap. Most people overlap. Be honest, and that's just yeah. And and that's just being real because you can, you might not be necessarily taking that other person too too seriously, and then you just on a whim meet somebody. Like I know that. Like even when I met when I met my guy, I was like, I was open and receptive to meeting people, but I don't. I wasn't. Was I consistently dealing with somebody at that time? No, but I'm confident that he was talking to somebody and I already know how the game go. It's like, I'm in it to win it. So I'm, I'm going into the finals and I'm, I'm getting my ring. Like, <laughs> so I think they was probably already talking. I think, I think they was talking. They was, he was entertaining her. Just um, maybe just text so me. Maybe they hang out once or twice or two or like, when you get off the set, hit me up when you're done with the set, I'll be done. And my set at two. I, when, I'm, yep. when I'm riding, riding on the, in the, the 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 Uber back to the crib, let's chop it up a little bit, and maybe it might be only 30, 45 minute conversations every day, like nothing like yep. super big, and maybe they hung out once or twice. So I'm not saying that they were yep. smashing this early. I'm just you're just saying that they that they had dealings with each other at some. Yeah, level. they were probably already talking. Yeah. Talking don't necessarily mean like fucking. Yeah, but absolutely, I think so. I think this can actually hold both for their careers though. Yeah. But also I think I think black I think black women don't want this to be a thing based on what happened. And like I told you, like nobody deserves any level of of the abuse. Like I don't care what color you are, however you identify, right? Um but you know, I think had it been, you know, no scandal behind it. I think it would have been, I would think, I think it, it would be really dope, but you know, I, I think women, black women in general frustration with it is like, we always got to be the clean, the cleanup woman. We always got to be the savior. We always have to rectify. We always have to fix everything. So I think that's why a lot of black women are irritated with the, the idea of this situation. Cause you know, like some people think it's just a PR stunt for him to get back in the good graces yeah, but, but, if, but if, if it could be something more genius if, if, if you're if you're you're uh uh you know i feel popular. like i'm right i feel and like it, it, right. they could have genuinely been talking to each other before then this that whole pr yeah. thing is out the door then yeah and Dang, I'm like, Spencer, Spencer, i mean activity Spencer thing out the window then okay I, i'm with you now I, that makes sense yours yeah, makes sense I think I th yeah you should you should because i i think for for I I think for the 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 source to even be like that is new. I think that they have been engaging 
in conversation for a while. And I don't think that they wanted people to know because if we, I feel like it might've been later down the line, if, especially if it was something that was potentially that could get serious. But now it adds like a, a certain level of pressure to it, but we'll see how it plays out. We'll see what happens. But I think they was already talking. Mm. All right, our last topic, Dom. I'm gonna read you a story. Okay. And I want you to give me your thoughts on it. Uh, shout out to the six brown chicks. This was delivered to me. Um, interesting stories um, that they have. They're supposed to be true stories, allegedly. Um, hold on, let me. Hold on. I had it pulled up. Uh, all right. 